Funding wallets on Tap Tap Send. Step one: Click on Create Ghana CD Wallets below when you open the app. Step two: Enter amount of your choice in Ghana CDs. Step three: Click on the Confirm and Fund wallet below to confirm. Step four: Your wallet has been successfully funded. Step five: Enter amount of your choice in Ghana CDs. Step 6. Select or add new recipient. Step 7. Choose wallet as payment method. Step 8. Click on the pay with wallet below to confirm. Step 9. Your transaction is successful. Artist of the Year in the Telecel Ghana Music Awards category is now becoming a war zone. Mm. Note this. You know, when some areas are fighting, you go there and that place will be demarcated as a war zone. It means over there, blood can spill at any time and on any day. In fact, Someone can shoot you. Someone can fire you. Anything at all can happen to you at such designated areas. In this year's Ghana Music Awards, sponsored by Telecel, one of Ghana's latest telecommunication companies, it is obvious that the Artist of the Year category this year has become a war zone, like a no-cross zone. And do you know why it is like that? It has become a war zone because of just two people among the nominated artists. Just two people among the nominated artists. In the category, there are other people there. In fact, it looks as if they are not even there. Because it is either they are minding their own business or at the moment they don't care. And I'm saying at the moment because maybe in the coming days, we would see how active they will be and how they will be awake all of a sudden to do some campaign. We've seen some before. Last year, we saw it happen when Black Sheriff sat down, watched um, PSC Esther, did all the dirty works, thinking, oh, Fala win for me. Just about a week to the event, Black Sheriff just woke up. Hey, Intishi, my sorry, I'm awake. And he was everywhere. Lo and behold, kikri, 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 boom. And Black Sharif won the Artist of the Year. So in the coming days, we don't know how it is going to be like. But as it stands now, the battle is between King Promise and Stone Boy. They are the people who are high in contention for the Artist of the Year. And here, I am surely talking about public discussions, opinions, and all that. These guys are the controllers of that category. Now, there is something I've been saying, and today I'm going to share it again because of today's issues of Stone Boy and Baba Sadiq and their wives issue here and there. In fact, we've seen some tweets. We've seen some tweets from Baba Sadiq indicating that there has been some communication, confrontation between Stoneboy and him, Baba Sadek, his wife. 
as well as between Baba Sadek and Stone Boy. As a matter of fact, if you ask Sammy Flex, if I know the background information, I'll tell you no. I don't have any background information. I'm still trying to do my search. I think earlier I placed a call to some one or two people, but they were too busy to talk, and I understood that I should leave them to sort out their own issues. When they are done and the time is right, I'll get the necessary information out of it. So that I see it as the normal reportage out there. So what is behind the scenes? What transpired? Who activated what? What triggered what? Sammy Flex, once again, I'm saying I don't know. But you see, all these things, I'm sure they were hidden. They were never coming out. All these things, I'm sure Baba Sadiq was not really in a haste to come talk about it. All of these things, I'm sure he was finding his own way within his family to contain it. Until a fan said something. Until a fan said something. And that was where he was triggered to put out the information that, oh, so this is how you guys want to operate. Because your top man has even said this and that disrespected my wife. And therefore, you're also coming to do it. To those who have been listening to me, I'm not sure those, I'm not talking about those who have been watching me because some people, they just watch me. They don't listen. So because they just watch me, they don't pay attention to the details I share. They are only interested in coming to spill gibberish under my comment section. And I thank them for doing that. At least they increase reaction on my show, on my videos, be it on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or wherever. So they shouldn't stop. I give them more of them, more power. Power to the people. Continue with your comments. It's good for the business. Now, I have been saying something over the years. And it's one of the reasons why anytime there are fans or there is a fan trying to provoke me, I'm always cautious of what I say. I'm always very careful of what I say because I keep saying that if I'm doing my thing, if I put out my post and a fan of any artist comes to do anything, comes to misbehave in any way, and I try to respond, that fan, I don't know anything about him. That fan, I don't have any information about him. That fan, to me, is a non-entity. He's just coming to chase clout. Kojo Sheldon is a clout in back. He's just coming to chase clout. Let people know that, hey, me to a day. It be me where I go tell Sammy Flex, say this, for in comment under. So it be me go do that. So you see such people coming in and out, throwing invectives and salvos and abusive words all over. Trust me, with my position, any attempt to respond to such people will go to some people who might not even know that person. I've been saying this all the time. And like I'm saying, those who have been listening to me, I'm sure by now they know, oh, yes, it is true. Sammy Flex has been saying this. They will come and provoke you all right. The moment you try to respond to them, you are never going to attack them. Whatever thing you say will go straight in fact, they will fire like this. The bullet will come gig, 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 like this. But when you fire, it goes up. As to how the gun will be pointed up, nobody would not know. It goes up and the fire from top, gig, 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 and everything else will be destroyed. So as it stands now, I keep saying, if you want to avoid having such encounters with the top people, the best you can do for yourself is to ignore some of these fans and those people who are online misbehaving. Not long ago, I saw a tweet from Stoneboy himself talking about the fact that there are some people who are just living in some delusions and blah, 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 boom, boom, boom on Twitter. And that the energy on the app to him has been negative, negative, negative. I saw that tweet. It means that for some time, some people have been doing stuff about him that he's not so cool about. That is why that particular tweet came out. And that is fair and fine. 
It is true. Many celebrities are suffering in the hands of online bullies. And I hear it is worse or we see it is worse on Twitter. And Stoneboy was the same way. He wasn't happy. He put out that tweet. I saw it. Maybe my editor will find it for you. Now, that's not all. This whole Baba Sade came to talk about Stoneboy doing this and that once again started on the same X app. Where a fan started making reference to the fact that they or he has known Baba Sadek from his days in Ashaiman, where his wife lived, describing him as small dick and all them things, and that he is fooling to Stoneboy, blah 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 blah. When Baba Sadek saw that tweet that had his wife in there, that had his family in there. That had him being disguised or described in a way. That is when he also got triggered to go and bring out what had happened behind the scenes. That is the encounter between him, his wife, and Stone Boy. I'm sure maybe he was not ready to talk about it. I want to believe. I'm sure he was not in haste. He was not willing to discuss it. Because that happened earlier. He didn't go online to mention it. In fact, he did not do an independent post to mention it. I know Baba Sadek. He's one strong guy. He doesn't hide his feelings. Baba Sadek is like Shatawale. He has the Shatawale attitude in him. If you want to fight him, he'll fight you back squarely. If you come at him, he would respond to you squarely. Now when I believe him, he's my boss, so I know what I'm talking about. He'll tell you, Sammy, see these people? The best we can do is to go at them. <laughs> I know Baba Sadek. How is it? We have to grow. Some, we have to go at them. He, I give it to them. Give it to them. And we see. I know that's how he plays. He doesn't know how to pretend. He's that guy. Some. He's then guys who don't know how to pretend. So I'm sure he was never going to talk about this. Because if he wanted to do it, he could have put out an independent post. After all, Baba Sadek's timelines are sharp. If he put it on any of his platforms, it will go. He carries weight in this space. In fact, he's very influential in this space. And no two ways, nobody can doubt that. But he decided to ignore all those things. The calls came and he was still not talking about until that fan, that ninkum poop of a person, decided to press his balls. And you know, as a human, when someone presses your balls, meow, you shout, meow. You know, it is painful. Like, meow, meow, because the response will come at a time that you might not even know what you are doing. Because you just want to get up to save your balls. So same way, the person triggered the balls, pressed it, meow, and Baba Sadiq, meow, and everything was out. And today, we are asking ourselves, is the artist of the year category now a war zone? Why does it look like we want to kill ourselves for artist of the year? Why is it that when you go online, banters over banters everywhere, someone is fighting with someone, someone is doing this with someone. Why? Why is it like that? Why? What at all are we looking for? Awards? In fact, there is a video. No, I think it is an interview Stoneboy granted to, I think, Property FM in Cape Coast. Oh, to him, he thinks this is nothing but an award scheme. We should do it. And after that, still move on as a family. We should do it. And after that, still come together as artists. This is no room for any war. This is no room for any fight. Stoneboy said it. The tape is there. The director will play it for you. Maybe you might have listened to it already as I talk. You can also do it. Because... A Jumana, you know, ya ya, a cool atinasi, as she no me will say, we and a fata hand, you know, me to mess up a queen, you know, as I as I say, as I I respect it and big up all of my fellow Ghanaian artists are, you Juma, I Juma, I do a new watch, I say, you to me a day, I'm a Ghana, music, me a Koso, and my Emma award, you know, award, you know. And the petty young people are now say, Ebema, ye ye, I dreamy if you a juma dear, I say, ye ye, and the pushy Ghana music in the unknown person, yeah, they can't. Now, you know, say, yeah, yeah. And 
it is just right to say that, indeed, it is an award scheme. The organizers know what they are looking for. They have set out their um, qualifications. What qualifies you to be here? Their category definitions and all, they've set it out. They know what you have to do to win. Or they've set out what you have to do to win. 30% for academy. 30% for um, um, the general public. And 40% for the board. It is like that. So go ahead. Throw your weight out there. Campaign as much as you can. So that people can give you the vote that you deserve. But to go fight. Nah, nah. To go fight. No, no. Nobody should go that drive. Let's follow the procedure. Let's follow the process. And I'm sure we'll be fine with that. As it stands now. Nana Regan even said to him, he doesn't want to believe whatever might have happened between Baba Sadek and um, Stoneboy and the wife and all the... Baba Sadek, um, Stone, uh, Nana Regan feels that to him, he doesn't even want to believe it is an artist of the year related. Yes, he said it on Showbiz Daily. On Sami Flex TV. You can go and watch it later. He said no. He doesn't want to believe it is related. He thinks it might be something beyond that. He thinks it might be something out of the ordinary. He thinks it, it might be something deeper. Or something even away from it. But maybe out of some of these postings. Um, I support Stoneboy. I support King Promise. That is what we get it. But what are we fighting for? We are fighting. We are destroying relationships. We are clashing families because of what trophies and plaques we can do better. Now, when you go online, there are so many people who have been engaging in unnecessary banter. That's what I would call it. Unnecessary banter over who is going to win artist of the year. This one, right? This one, come and insult. This one, right? This one, come and insult. Then what? After that, what do we gain? Someone will say, wait till we gain. After doing all these things, wait till we gain. Well, I don't intend to say much. Let's do it as the industry demands. The industry has its laid down processes and procedures to win this. It's not about a fighting. It's not about just one person saying he supports this. In fact, everybody else can shout your name that they support you on social media. But if the right things are not done, you don't play your politics well, you don't get your votes done right. Because at the end of the day, academy members, they are people. That's why you have to play the politics. The general public, your fans... How are you dealing with your fans? And again, the board members, how connected are you to them so that they would know your works and your worth before they can vote for you? What are you waiting for? These are the things that you have to do. If you're able to do these things, you are good. Until then, no need for name calling, no need for division, no need for fighting, no need for this and that. They are all unnecessary. This is my take on the artist of the year issue. That has become a war zone for many people, especially the artists in contention, Stone Boy and Can Promise. I want to believe they might be friends, but why are people fighting in their name? The other day, we saw them at um, the African Cup. Roland showed me a video. Maybe you can give the video to Richie to show it to them. We saw them both at the African Cup where they were both moving together until some fans met Stoneboy, decided to take videos and photos with him. Yes, Stoneboy and King Promise, they were moving together. Whilst they were moving, some fans grabbed Stoneboy and they were taking photos and videos with him. So, they were moving together. But you, Kwasimante, you are online fighting. You are online disrespecting someone. You are online discussing and insulting someone. Yao, why would you do that? You understand that, I guess. My name is Sammy Flex. I did this with Digital Rasta. He's called Currency. Who did camera for me? Richie Flex is the editor director of the show. And uh, Tap Tap Send is still here at every point in time. They are telling the world that you can also send money from abroad to Ghana without stress. Get an app on your phone today and um, start using it. It is trusted and you are going to be reliably sending money to your loved ones, friends and family members as well. And again, I want you to subscribe to us because this is the home of quality showbiz information. Here, we give you the facts. We speak the way professionals speak. No need.
to attack or insult anybody. They are very positive-minded, but fully loaded. And that is what we get here on Sami Flex TV. I'll meet you in our next video when we have to do. I'm out of here. Bye-bye.